I am Will Lord. For more than 40 years, I've been experimenting with Stone Age technology. And teaching what I have learned to members of the public. In this series, I'll be taking you back in time into the Stone Age, starting with mining to get raw materials such as flint, copper and ochre to produce tools and ancient art. This is the landscape that surrounds the Clarewell Caves and what we actually have is a thing called scowls which is where they were open cast mining from the surface for ochre during the Neolithic period. What you may have seen right there is evidence of ochre and so this is almost, we haven't dug into the ground at all, there's no effort required, but the lead is taking us in and so um, down you would go into that area. As you can see, this is quite an environment to be heading on down into. Amazing, getting down deep underground again. And we're going down there for red ochre. That is quite beautiful. Okay. You can like reverse effect art in that, so you scrape the ochre away. <laughs> the image of the animal. Oh my god, we've just arrived at the face of the red ochre. This is so exciting. Check this out. I can honestly tell you, slightly, my breath is taken away. Um, that is absolutely amazing to see. No one else gets down here. And you're with me right now. I've got you at the very, very face of the source of red ochre. It's an important, it's an important mineral that has been with man right through his journey. We've been painting the bones of our dead. We've been painting the caves. Um, tribal people have painted it on their skin. And here we are. It's like, it's, it's like the blood of Mother Earth. It's such a powerful radiant colour to be right at the source of it. So um, it's a real privilege to actually just be sharing that with you guys right now. And although you won't get to sit here where I am right now, the Clarewell Caves are definitely worth going to. I've wanted personally to come here for over 20 years and it's only literally now that I'm doing these kind of things that I've made the pilgrimage to get out and get in here. And I can tell you, this is incredible. Look at it. That is just jaw dropping. So now that you've seen 
where some of the finest ochre comes from in England, I'm actually going to take you and show you some of my favourite art in the whole of the world, real time. Come on, let's go to Spain.